Hello everyone, this is Vinita and welcome to Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this crochet sun hat. Now the pattern for this sun hat is really simple and beginner friendly. And the best part is you can customize this sun hat in any size. So you can make this all the way from a child up to an adult. So this is a highly customizable basic sun hat. Now if you see here, I have not decorated it. I've just kept it really plain and simple. So even if you are a beginner, I think this pattern will help you to make this sun hat. And once you have done this, you can definitely go ahead and decorate it. So you can either decorate it with flowers or you can add some lace, a cord. Uh, in fact, you can even tie a scarf to it. It will look super good. Now, if you see here, I, the brim of this hat is not very wide. I have just kept a very narrow brim for this. But this brim is enough to just protect your eyes from the sun. So it's not a very wide brimmed hat. But if you want, you can totally make this into a really wide hat. But the thing is that if you make it really big and wide, as the brim goes the weight will just go on increasing and there is a good tendency that it will just start to flop so that's why i've not gone for a very wide brim now if you really want to make it wider uh, one thing that you can do is at the very last round you can just add a metal ring so that your brim will uh, stay steady so that is one way of doing it but i will be um, explaining how you can make it wider okay uh, now let's just talk about the construction. I think my video uh, introduction is going to be a little bit longer. So if you are really looking forward for the pattern, I'll put a timestamp so you can go directly there and start the pattern. But I just want to explain a little bit more about the construction of the hat here. So I'm just going to divide this into three parts, the construction so that it is easier for me to explain. So as I said, you can make this in any size. So the first part is we will be making the crown width or a flat circle. So that is what we are going to make. We will first make the uh, flat circle and the flat circle, the diameter or the crown width, that is what the flat circle will be. It will be based on the head circumference. So depending on who you are making for, you should be uh, knowing the head circumference for that person. Now, if you do not know, I'll put a general measurement in the description box. So you can just take that as a guide and first get the head measurement. And based on that, we will make the flat circle and we just first make the crown width covering the flat circle. OK, so that is part one. For part two, we will go on adding the height for the hat so this will be like the body of the hat so where we'll cover the height for your hat and the third part is we'll be making the brim for this hat so this this is how we are going to construct it now let's see the crown width how to calculate the crown width so based on that only you can customize this hat so for that you would be requiring one measurement so i'll just take my calculator here Okay, so in order to calculate our crown width or the flat circle diameter, we'll have to first uh, take our head circumference. So for me, I'm just going to take it as 21 and a half inches. So that is the crown width for a medium adult woman. So I'll first take in my head circumference, which is 21.5 inches. And this you have to divide it by pi. So the value of pi is 3.14. So divide it by 3.14. So that equals to 6.8 inches. So I'll have to make a flat circle uh, or the crown width whose diameter is 6.8 inches. Now if you are making it for some other head circumference size, say you are making it for a child whose head size, whose head circumference is around 6 inches. So this is what you do. You'll take 6 and divided by pi divided by 3.14 and that comes to 1.9 inches so if you are making it for a 6 uh, inch head circumference your crown width should be 1.9 inches so depending on the person that you are making for you just first type in the head circumference and divided by 
pi that is 3.14 and whatever is the width that is coming or whatever is the number that is coming that you can take it as your uh, crown width or the flat circle diameter so that will just change depending on the head circumference now for me it has come out around 6.8 inches so i'm not going to make it exactly 6.8 inches i'll have to make a little bit less than that don't go beyond 6.8 inches otherwise your um, you can see this here is your flat circle or your crown width so if it is more than 6.8 inches diameter it will be very loose so i'm going to make a little bit less than 6.8 inches so i'll just stop anywhere between 6.5 to 6.7 inches because after usage this is again going to get loose so i'm just going to make it a little bit less than 6.8 inches or the answer that you get by dividing by 3.14 so that is the calculation depending on the head circumference that you have to make before starting it and once you know that answer we will uh, just adjust it to the pattern so you just understand how to do that once we are starting it okay now just quickly run through the supplies that you'd require now you can make this hat with any weight yarn so here i'm going to use a cotton yarn so since this is going to be a sun hat I would say I would recommend that you use either a cotton or a bamboo yarn or just a cotton mix so that would be much more um, breathable in the hot sun so I'm just using cotton here what I'm doing is this is a DK weight cotton yarn so I just wanted to finish this project quickly so what I did it I used two strands of DK weight cotton yarn together so that I get the thickness of a worsted weight so I'm just going to use two strands together uh, now if you can use thin weight yarn also it's just that you will be adding too many rounds before you reach your flat circle but you can totally do that uh, you can make it with any weight yarn I'm just using 2 DK weight yarn to get a worsted weight and with that I'm going to use a 5.5 mm crochet hook now if you have a worsted weight go with the recommended hook size or any yarn just go with the recommended hook size and for the brim alone i'm going to use one hook size down i'm going to use a 5 mm so that the brim is much more stiffer uh, you'll also require a pair of scissors a yarn needle and a stitch marker now we are going to do this in continuous rounds so they, there is no seam in the entire hat so we are just going to do it in continuous steam so that is why you would require a stitch marker now if you do not have this you can replace it with a bobby pin or a safety pin or just another piece of another color yeah that would be enough and you would require a tape measure so that you just uh, are able to achieve that crown width okay so these are the few supplies that you would require now if you are ready we can get started so we'll start this pattern with a magic circle so to make a magic circle you take your yarn loop it around your finger like an x once you have that you can take this loop out now take your hook pass your hook through this loop here and pull your working yarn through so this here is your magic circle now if you want a detailed tutorial how to do the magic circle you can just click on the link that is here so here I've got my magic circle. After that, I'm going to make two chain stitch, one and two. So I've got two chain stitch. Now for my round one, I'll make a total of eight half double crochet into the magic circle. So to make a half double crochet, you yarn over first, insert your hook into the center of the circle and pull up a loop. You have three loops here. You yarn over and pull your working yarn through all the three loops. So this here is your first half double crochet we'll do that again yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over and pull through all the three loops so this is my second half double crochet like that i'll make a total of eight half double crochet into the magic circle so this is my third half double crochet fourth half double crochet fifth five six seven and one last eight so 
so for my round one i have eight half double crochet and the starting two chains you can just give it a count one two three four five six seven eight and here we have a chain two now we'll start our round two and this particular hat is worked in continuous rounds you are not going to um, what is this slip stitch any round because we don't want any seam so we'll put the first stitch of the next round into the first stitch of the previous round here so we'll start doing that so into the first stitch here we are going to put two half double crochet so the round two what you'll do is you'll put two half double crochet in every stitch uh, that is just an increase round so we'll make so into your very first half double crochet here we are going to put two half double crochet so this is one and into the very same stitch make another one so that is an increase stitch making two stitches in one stitch is also called as an increase stitch okay so here we have made an increase now at this point you can start marking your stitches so I'm just going to mark my first stitch here because I have made two half double crochet I'll come to the next stitch and again put two half double crochet so this is one okay and into the same stitch I'll put another one so this is my second half double crochet like this in every stitch around I'm going to put two half double crochet so this is my third stitch here again I'm going to put two half double crochet okay I just missed my stitch here so this is my third stitch I'll make half double crochet this is one and into the same stitch I'll make another one so like this I'll just complete this pattern till I reach my stitch marker and once you finish this round you'll have a total of 16 half double crochet so I'll complete this round and meet you at the end of round two so here I have finished my round two and I have a total of 16 half double crochet and I've reached my stitch mark I'll just remove this we will start our round three now for round three the pattern is you have to make one one half double crochet followed by an increase so we'll do that so into the very first stitch here make one half double crochet like this and you can just mark your stitch so do not forget to mark your stitch otherwise you will lose count of the stitches initially it's not a big problem but as you go ahead you might just lose the count okay so this is one half double crochet into the next stitch make an increase that is you put two half double crochet into the same stitch this is one and into the very same stitch make another half double crochet so that completes your increase we'll do that again so in the next stitch make one half double crochet and the next one put two half double crochet or an increase stitch so this is one and in the same stitch make another one all right so here two half double crochet are going in this stitch so this is the pattern for your round three one half double crochet followed by an increase stitch so i'll just complete this pattern and when 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 you finish this round you will have a total of 24 half double crochets so here i'm at the end of my round three and i have a total of 24 half double crochet you should be always ending on an increase stitch okay now let's start our fourth round so the pattern for your fourth round is you have to put one half double crochet one half double crochet and then make an increase stitch so we'll do that so into the very first stitch make a normal half double crochet so this is one in the next stitch also make one half double crochet so half double crochet half double crochet and then follow it with an increase stitch so into the next stitch make an increase that is you put two half double crochet into the very same stitch one and in the same stitch put another one okay so this is the pattern that we'll be following half double crochet half double crochet and an increase so we'll do that so this is my half double crochet once this is my half double crochet the second time so we have put two half double crochet and then into the next stitch we are going to make an increase so here i'll make an increase stitch so in this stitch i'm going to put two half double crochet this is one 
and into the same stitch I'll make my another stitch so just go on repeating this pattern making half double crochet half double crochet and then increase so here I'm at the end of my round four and I have a total of 32 half double crochet now we'll move on to round five so the pattern for your round five is you have to make three half double crochet and then an increase so we'll do that so we'll start with a half double crochet so this one is one we will make a half double crochet into the next stitch as well this is two I'll just mark my stitch so I've already made two half double crochet we have to make three half double crochet and then an increase so here I have made my third half double crochet okay so we have three half double crochet and then you make an increase so in this stitch I'll put two half double crochet so here I have put two half double crochet so that is a increase so this is the pattern that we'll be following so we have to make three half double crochet and then an increase stitch so I'll just continue making this pattern so this is one this is two this is my second half double crochet this is my third half double crochet and then I'll make an increase so I'll continue this pattern making three half double crochet and then an increase okay. yeah I'm at the end of my round five and I have a total of 30 half double crochet and as you can see it is lying completely flat now there may be chance that this is not lying completely flat so it can either turn in, into a bowl so that is it is it will be folding up now itself or you'll have a case where it will be ruffling so there are two kinds of case when it is not lying flat so what you can do is in case it is uh, like turning it is folding up if that is the case you can go ahead and increase the size of the hook so mine is completely okay but in case it was like folding up in instead of 5.5 i would change it to six so you have to use a uh, one size bigger one or two sizes bigger hook so that will kind of solve that problem if it is fold, folding up in case if, if if it is ruffling that is you have too many stitches you can um, size down so instead of 5.5 you can use either a 5 or a 4.5 mm crochet hook so that is how you can do it but it should be lying flat now if i have to measure this it measures about 4.2 inches or you can say it is approximately 11 centimeter so this will be your crown width or crown dia uh, diameter for zero to six months so if you are making for that you can stop here i'll put a timestamp where you will be doing the second part okay but i'm just going forward with this so we'll start our next round so the next round the pattern is you have to make four half double crochet and then an increase so we'll start so we'll have to make four half double crochet before we start the increase so this is my first stitch okay i'll go and make a half double crochet so this is my second stitch two here i'll put another half double crochet three and one more four okay so here i have four half double crochet after i have four half double crochet i'm going to make an increase stitch so that is the pattern for this round you have to make four half double crochet and then an increase stitch okay so i'll just go on repeating the pattern i'll make four half double crochet and increase four half double crochet and an increase so here i'm at the end of my round six now if i have to measure this this measures about five 0.1 inches okay so if you are making for a toddler size say one to three years this will be a perfect time to stop it and you can head over to the second part that is the body uh, of the hat but if you are finding that your diameter is achieved midway you can stop there and go directly to the part two it's not necessary that you should complete one full round if midway also that diameter or width is achieved you can stop anyway i'm just moving forward with the pattern so as you have guessed the next um for the next round you have to make five half double crochet and an increase 
so into the first stitch make a normal half double crochet so this here is one don't forget to mark your stitches otherwise it can get confusing so one two three four four five and then you have to make an increase that is you have to put two half double crochet into the next stitch so that will be the pattern for this round for this round you have to make five half double crochet and then follow it with an increase stitch so i'll complete this round as well making five half double crochets and then an increase stitch okay so i'll meet you at the end of this round so here I have finished my round 7 and, and if I have to measure this, this measures about 6 inches. But I am looking for somewhere around 6.5 inches. 6.4 to 6.5 inches is where I am going to stop. So I have to do one more round but that will not, I don't have to do it completely. I think with one increase or maximum two increase we will be able to achieve. So keep on measuring your... Uh, width and whenever it is reached you please stop now if you are making for say a child maybe three to five or even till 10 years i think that would have happened in this particular row if you're using the same yarn and hook you would have you don't have to do the next round you could have stopped it in this round anywhere where that achieve where you had achieved that width i'm just going to do one more round so here I'm going to make six half double crochet and then an increase. And I'm pretty sure I don't have to finish off this round. I can stop midway. So here one, two. Okay, I'll just mark my stitch before I forget. So here I have got two. This is my third half double crochet, three. Four, five. I'll make another one. Six. Okay, so here I have got six half double crochet, and after this you have to make an increase. So I'm going to put two half double crochet into this stitch. One and two. So that takes care of the increase. We will just check. How much is the diameter as of now? Okay, one second. So, okay, it still has just reached 6.2. I will continue this pattern and check where I'm able to achieve that 6.4 to 6.5 inches. So, I'm just going to repeat six half double crochet and an increase and i'll just show you where exactly i'm stopping okay so here i'm still at round seven i have done two more increases so this was my stitch marker and i have reached till here and now if i have to measure this you can see from the point where our needle is it is about six one second it is 6.5 inches i do not want to come all the way till 6.6 .6, so that was our width so I'm just stopping before 6.6. .6, so I'm stopping at 6.5. So if I have to measure from here, it uh, completely fits it. So it's not necessary that you have to complete one full round. If at any point midway you are able to achieve your crown width, you can stop there itself. There's no need to increase anymore. Okay. So for me, round seven was where I'm stopping midway of round seven. I'm not completing it. Now, in case you are using a different yarn and hook, a smaller one, you may have to continue the rounds. So it is the same. So this round was you are making six half double crochet and an increase. If you are to uh, go on making the flat circle, you just make seven half double crochet and increase. The next round will be eight half double crochet and increase. So it will depend on the yarn and the hook that you're using. You just have to go on doing it till you achieve your width. Okay, so once you are done with the width, we will start with the part two. And part two is we are going to fold down. Now from here onwards, you are just going to do one half double crochet in every stitch continuously. Okay, you don't have to count any more stitches. So this was my width. 
once you are ready with your width you can just go on doing one half double crochet in every stitch so that will stop your increases and your hat will start to fold down now it will uh, take one to two rounds to see the folding down of your hat so please be patient i'm just going to uh, make one half double crochet in every stitch i'm not doing any more increases i'm just keeping this here if you want you can mark this stitch just in case you want a reference so you can put a stitch marker here just for your reference where from where you are going to mark it down and just go on making one half double crochet in every stitch i'll just finish off this i'll reach here and i'll show you how this looks it's just a continuous round of half double crochet okay so here i have finished one more round making one half double crochet in every stitch and if you see here our circle is no more lying flat it has started to curve in so that is what we are looking for so i just marked one more stitch marker just to explain it better so this was the stitch marker from where we were doing all the increases and this was the very last round of the increase and from here i've just marked this stitch to indicate where i have stopped increasing altogether so this is like complete rounds and here we had actually stopped increasing and from this point onwards i had started making one half double crochet in every stitch you do not have to put this i just put it just to explain it to you and i'm just going to keep it like this now i'm just going to continue what i was doing from here onwards you just have to make one half double crochet in every stitch you do not have to mark any stitch if you want you just keep the stitch marker just like that so that once you finish it off you can understand it better how you were making this i just put this so as to show you where i had stopped increasing and where our continuous rounds of one half double crochet in every stitch was getting made so all i'm going to do is i'm just going to make one half double crochet in every stitch no more increases no more stitch markers just make one half double crochet in every stitch so you you'll have to do it till you are happy with the depth of the hat now for an adult size i'm looking for a height which is about six and a half to seven inches from the very top so from here i'll measure till i reach the height of six and a half to seven inches the ideal height would be uh, somewhere above your eyebrow or above the ear level that is the usual height of a hat or a beanie so for me i'm looking for six and a half to seven inches in height now if you're making for a child i think five and a half to six and a six five and a half to six inches will be the hat height so just go on making one half double crochet in every uh, stitch till you reach the height so here i have repeated the pattern making one half double crochet in every stitch and i have made a total of 18 rounds so if i have to measure from the very top it is about it's not seven inches it is between 6.5 to 7 inches and this works perfectly well for me so i'm stopping here now you can stop at any point i'm just stopping at the point where my first stitch marker was where we were doing a flat circle so i'm just stopping right below it but you can if you have removed this you can stop anywhere because we are still going to work in rounds okay so this is the end of part two where we have made the body or the height of a cap now we will make the brim okay so that is the third part so we'll start that now this is my 18th round so that may or may not be your round you might be at a different round depending on the height that you will be making whatever the case just uh, stop when you are happy with the height now we'll move on to the brim so for the brim here I, again uh, for the sake of continuity uh, i'm just or the clarity i'm just going to say that this is round one again but this is the round one of the brim okay so for the round one for the brim part we are going to make single crochets and here again i'm going to change my hook uh, till now i was using 5.5 mm but i'm going to use 5 mm crochet hook for the brim so as to have much more tighter stitches and um, so that the brim is little more stiffer so that's why i've reduced the size of the hook 
and I'm going to use single crochet for the brim now round one for the brim is we are going to make four single crochet and then an increase so we'll do that so into the first stitch make one single crochet into the next stitch again make a single crochet and I'm just going to mark my stitches again so this was my very first stitch so I have made two stitch two single crochet this is my third single crochet here is my fourth single crochet okay so here I've got four single crochet after that I'm going to make an increase so I'm going to put two single crochet into the same stitch like this and I'm going to repeat this pattern till I reach my stitch marker so we'll do that again we'll make four single crochet so for single crochet you insert your hook pull up a loop you have two loops yarn over and pull through both so this is a single crochet so one this is my second single crochet two three and four so I've got four single crochet and then make an increase so I'm going to put two single crochet into the same stitch so I'll just continue making this pattern till I reach the stitch marker now you may or may not end with an increase because each of us will have a different count depending on where we stop so it's to totally okay even if you're not uh, finishing on an increase so just continue this till you reach this last stitch you may or may not end in an increase which is totally fine so I'll just uh, repeat the pattern and meet you so here I'm at the end of the first round for the brim here so my last stitch was a single crochet so if you see this was my increase after that I put four single crochet I couldn't put an increase so I've already reached my stitch marker so whatever is the number that you're reaching just keep it there we will move on to the next stitch so for that what I'm going to do is for your round two for your brim you have to make five single crochet and an increase so just go directly into the stitch marker where, where you had put it and from there we'll again start working okay so this is one we have to make five single crochet and then an increase this is two here is my three four and five okay so here I have got five single crochet after that make an increase so this is the pattern for the round two for your brim we are making five single crochet followed by an increase stitch so here I have finished the round two of the brim also so I have still not ended in an increase so this was my increase after that I had put two single crochet now we'll move on to the third round so the third round you have to put six single crochet and an increase so we're still increasing so make six single crochet and follow it by an increase stitch so this is one going to the next one make a single crochet two three four five and one more six so here we have got six single crochet and then follow it by an increase stitch so just continue this pattern for your round three it need not be the perfect stitch at every round it is just to have a wider brim okay so just continue making six single crochet and an increase stitch here I'm at the end of the round three now we'll move on to the next round so the next round is just going to be a plain single crochet round no more increases so we are just going to put one single crochet in every stitch so one single crochet in every stitch is the pattern for your round four and when you're doing this do not forget to put your stitch marker in place so i'll just go ahead and make one single crochet in each of these stitches so here I have completed that round also without any increasing just making one single crochet in every stitch around after that I continued that for three more rounds so I just made three more rounds of one single crochet in every stitch and this is how the brim is so this is 
quite wide enough at least for me so i'm just stopping here now you can just go on continuing with the same pattern if you want a much wider brim uh, so if you're looking for more diameter for the brim uh, just like we did first we did four single crochet then an increase in the next round we did five single crochet increase and then six single crochet increase so if you're looking for a really wide brimmed hat you can just go on continuing for maybe three or four rounds so you just make seven single crochet and increase then eight single crochet and an increase nine single crochet and an increase so that will give you much more wider brim and after that you can just make the last three or four rounds without any increases okay so here i'm just stopping here make i had just uh, added four more rounds of single crochet without any increases so this was my stitch marker and to finish off your brim if you see here if we just cut our yarn here you can really see the difference in height so as to because we had done in continuous round so in order to have a much cleaner finish what we'll do is in the next two stitches we are going to do a slip stitch so this is how you make a slip stitch you insert your hook into the stitch and then pull the working yarn through both these loops so that will complete one slip stitch like this we will make one more slip stitch into the next stitch so similarly just insert your hook and pull your working yarn through both the loops so that will complete your slip stitch now if you see the height difference is reduced to a great extent and you can now cut your yarn so leave a long tail and then you can cut your yarn here now all you have to do is to just weave in the ends okay so there are hat is ready so you can see that the difference in height is quite very very less okay now so all you have to do is just weave in the ends and you can see this is done now, as i have said earlier you can decorate it the way you like you can add flowers you can just attach a lace or a bow even a scarf with the absolutely great uh, now if you're looking for a cord tutorial i do have one so you can make either a long chain stitch and just at, uh, make a bow that will also look great or if you want a cord tutorial i do have one you can use that cord and just make a long chain and then tie it up that will also look great for this kind of hat but i've just kept it kept it simple and very very basic so yeah that's all for the tutorial here i hope you liked it and you enjoyed it now if you liked it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing if you have made this hat please do tag me on instagram or facebook i leave all my social media handles in the description box you can just tag me there okay so see you in the next video until then bye bye thank you